the PDP as it is today is the only national party we have. Oh, in this I'm country. not saying With it is. With all structures in uh, all the 36 states of the country. Alhaji Gulak, I haven't said that your party is regionalized. I have only said that right now your strongest hold is in the South South. Doesn't it follow that your chairman, the chairman of the party, should come from there? I don't think so. Because party politics is about bringing everybody together. You cannot prefer other regions over the others and you expect to win national election. Let me tell you the history of this country. Shagari won national election because he built bridges. All the regions were involved. Buhari could not win presidential election 2003, 2007, 2011 because his then party, APP or CPC, we are regionalized to the north until the APC contraption where the southwest came on board some of the uh, north central came on board together with the northwest and the north is that was how Buhari could win presidential or national election under the contraption of APC so it is the PDP who right from day one was a national party with all structures in all the 36 states of the Federation and FCT Abuja, and it is still maintaining those structures now. It is only PDP that right from 1998 has not changed its name, has not changed its color, has not changed so, know, its so identity. That, so, so, Chairman, it like, is national. There, there, there must be something that you are mm. willing to change now if yeah. you say you want to uh, bring in the young Nigerians yes. into the party. Perhaps uh, there, there must be something you thought you didn't do pretty quite well in yeah. the last election that made you Definitely. Uh, now an opposition party yeah. in the country. What are those things that you think that you can bring to the table that will uh, you know, make young Nigerians and everyone come back to your party? What we failed to do or what we, 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 we are bathing in a euphoria of power and impunity setting. People were not given opportunity to elect their leaders. Some leaders stayed in Abuja and wrote names. Some even after primary election, you win your primary election, you are short changed. You are changed by somebody who has not even participated in the election. Those were the impunity that made us to lose 2015 election. We had no reason to lose Adama State. We had no reason to lose, lose Plateau State. We had no reason to lose Binwe State. We had no reason to lose Kogi State. We had no reason to lose Nasarawa State. Juxtaposed with the happening of that time, people went into the election with protests against the impunity perpetuated by the then leaders of the party. And that was how we lost the election. Now we want to change that 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 method we need to give the party back to the people especially the youth has that it, is why i entirely agree left? with the chairman who said that we must give this party to the people we must give this party to the youth and he's going to enhance the 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 pdp youth vanguard so the youth will now be in charge of their destiny Select your officers, select those who will stand election for you, and we go to elections. You know, there are those who also say that uh, they disagree with that position where you say that we have to zone the available offices yeah. because there's this speculation that the chairman, the current chairman, is eyeing the number one seat. And so that's why some are saying, Which let's one just. Is the number one seat? No, it's eyeing 2019. As what? As president, that he also wants to contest. I'm not aware of that. No, that, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If you yeah. respond to it, because they're saying that if you're saying let's not zone those positions, yeah. people say no. We have to look at all available positions and zone them so that we'll be on the same page right from the one up until that time. I don't believe that is correct because you cannot zone something you don't have. You cannot give something you don't have. You can only give something that you have. And what do you have? You have the party offices for now about candidates for 2019 election unless you build your party even if you are given the ticket to be president can you win election you can't you must build this party first all the blocks and the materials you need to build this party you must bring them now do you have them now we have them in abundance that is why we are building this party around fairness 
justice and inclusiveness. As but you rebuild, sorry, Mark, as you rebuild, are you also uh, working, you know, checking the government uh, as an opposition? Suggestions, critiques, definitely, uh, critiques we, and we criticisms? Definitely, as an opposition, we are preparing ourselves to take over. I haven't been uh, getting vibes from the, uh, the PDP concerning uh, governance. Well, some people have been talking but on different platform individual platforms but as a party you know we are coming out from one crisis or the other our members are entangled in one case or the other we are trying to you know bring new faces new managers who can confidently talk without you know being cowed or intimidated that is our major major assignment for now so that the ruling party as it is today have to be put on edge. This country, Nigeria, needs PDP more than ever before. This country needs PTB as a vibrant opposition. Even the, if, if in democracy, opposition is the spice of democracy. And I believe even President Buhari will need PDP as a vibrant opposition. Without that, the government will, not, will go to sleep. We must take them on, on issues, on their campaign promises. But the party is waiting for them to start implementing the, 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 the budget, although the budget has issues. So by the time they begin to implement their budget, we will now take them on issues. Where are the employments? Where is the exchange rate? One naira to one dollar. You know, we will begin to take them on issues. Where is the electricity? Where is the fuel? You know, we don't need, we need somebody who can do the job, not somebody who can explain why he cannot do the job. At this critical stage that we are in Nigeria, we need a man who will do the job. Not people who will explain why they cannot do the job. Oh, PDP has ruined the country. Oh, PDP 16 years of rule has ruined the country. Who is PDP, for God's sake? PDP or APC are, you know, name populated by individuals. Remove President Buhari and probably Tinubu and his few people. Who is not a PDP member in APC today? From governors, Senate presidents, senators, ministers. Tell me. What do you think of what is going on in the Senate now about the uh, Senate presidency? Because we understand that the PD there are several reports that if the Senate president ceases to be the Senate president, that the PDP may just take over that position. <laughs> it's not impossible. Because in the first place, Senator Bukola Saraki was not the preferred candidate of the APC. He emerged as, as a rebel. Just like Tambual emerged speaker in 2011. But PDP that time, being a robust, you know, with political sagacity, managed the situation till the end. The APC cannot manage the situation. That's why the crisis has set in. And it is a very bad and avoidable distraction as far as governance is concerned. But a lot of energy is being dissipated in this crisis rather than facing governance. But do you think, will it be a good idea uh, for the PDP to eye and seek to take over that position? Because if you do take over that position, won't people accuse you of saying, well, it was your party that we voted out in the first instance. No, taking that position prevents the ruling party now from absorbing all the blame if they fail to achieve their purpose. You see, you cannot blame others for your own failure. If the APC failed to bring themselves to 